Sup, Chapter Three, Cinderella. After we do this. I'm so glad to see you. Time okay. is still acting strangely all over the kingdom. If you could come back and help us fix it, I'd be very grateful. Now we only have this last chapter, and then Snow White, and then we're done. And I am very excited for it to be done. Uh, if you are wondering, this entire Let's Play has been made. Why are we in the Clock Tower? Anyhow, I've been playing this over just one day. Um, so this has uh, been a few good hours that I have just played Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. I am not lame. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> oh yeah. I took a break to eat dinner and now we're back at this beautiful clock tower. I actually really like clocks. They are really cool and uh, time is an imaginary construct but <laughs> it's really fascinating to like that we have like things that tell time. It's really cool. I enjoy it. Also, this design, that's like impossible. <laughs> uh, once again, the uh, interior design and architectural design of this Cinderella world uh, garbage. But it is pretty garbage. So we approve. I honestly don't know where <gasps> money. I have so much money. I still don't know what money does. I don't think it actually like it's just like a collecting thing. I don't think it gives you anything in the end. Like it don't. It doesn't have a purpose. It just is. And if that's not money in a nutshell, then what is? There you are, dear, and just in time too. I think I found the cause of all our troubles. There are three cogs missing from this clock. Oh, but what's a cog? Are you dumb? <laughs> well, uh, do you see that, um, that round, uh, that, that thing right there? That's a cog. They make the clock tower tick, and without them, well, time is frozen. Without well, them, time is frozen. Was that what she said? Find more cogs? Oh, dear me, I'm afraid I don't. But perhaps Cinderella does. She should be at the manor. Don't worry, you can count on me. This game is so glitchy. Find Cinderella at the manor. Ask Cinderella about the cogs. This game is such a glitch. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, okay. I really, I had a lot of trouble with this, uh, finding these cogs. Uh, and I had a lot of trouble as a kid, and I don't remember where they are, but I remember that. I couldn't finish the game uh, because I couldn't find the cogs. There were times where I couldn't finish it because I couldn't find the cogs. And I think that sort of explains me as a person. <laughs> like, I don't know how it explains me as a person, but it apparently does in my head. It's just like, it's a very. It's a thing that happens a lot. Like, I don't understand how something works, so I just give up completely. There's one left. Go on. Okay, money. So I think we should go see Cinderella at the manor. If I am correct, there should be one at the manor, a cog, and there should be a cog in the forest. If I remember correctly, uh, I most likely do not remember correctly because my. Uh, memory is that of a peanut, but you can always hope they remember at least something. The gate is really weird, it doesn't go up all the way, okay, that is a dumb design for a gate. Once again, architectural intelligence is not something these people thrive on. Now, the question is. Can I find the cogs? Oh, okay. <laughs> if I do not talk to Cinderella. Because I don't think I can. 
I also am like, I'm not going to. Because I uh, do not want to make this game even harder for myself than it is. Uh... Are you gone? Yeah, you are. Okay, this is weird. It's really glitchy, so... All the great is very just like not working at the moment and I can hear laughter. It's like what is that shit film John laughter? Yeah. Also I realised that uh Josh Withema Withemaker something something he's a British comedian. His laugh reminds me of the bog's laugh. <laughs> oh it's a oh, I went the wrong way, okay. Yeah, also this is what that is why. I think I said already, but that is why my accent is extra bad right now. Because I have been Shut the fuck up, Pixie. Uh, and that's why my accent is extra bad because I have been watching way 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 too much British uh comedy shows and like Chris shows. Yeah. So my English has just like decided that I'm British. Well not British but I'm from the UK apparently. Uh, and I've been watching a lot of Fallon um, Brady. She's really cool uh, Irish comedian. I really like her. She's like kind of weird, but like in a good way. <laughs> no, she's cool. And uh, Ashen, Ashen, something like that. She's also cool. She's also Irish. Um, I really like her. I like a lot of uh, female comedians apparently. It's almost as if I'm gay. The window is open. Which is a good thing for me, because my room is warm and the outside is cold. But I will have to close it soon, because people can hear me. That is quite unfortunate for me, not for them. They don't care. I don't think all of the cogs are in the manor, but they could possibly be. I don't think they are, but there is a likelihood that they are. I know one of the cogs is... I think one of the cogs is in the clock tower, if I remember correctly, from when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, I don't know 100%, but I think... I think one is in the well area, one is in the kitchen. Possibly? Probably? Not probably, but it's a possibility. Oh, thank you for returning. We could certainly use your help again. You see, we still haven't solved the problem with time. I know, but I think we found a clue. Your fairy godmother discovered that the clock tower is missing some cogs. And she thinks that might be why time is frozen. Do you know where I could find three cogs to fix the clock? Well, you might try looking in the attic. There are all sorts of things like that there. If you go to the attic, you might find the pieces missing from the clock tower. Okay, let me go. <laughs> Hello. Find the cog. Look for the cog at the manor. Now, seeing as the gems lead upstairs, shut up. Let me walk. Seeing as the gems lead upstairs, oh my god, there's more money in the corner. Seeing as the co, I can't speak. Seeing as the gems lead upstairs, I assume that the attic is this way. Wow, great! I am so clever. Totally not, just process of elimination. 
So yeah, now this door is opened. And we can go to Cinderella's room, which is in the attic. I wonder where that cog could be. Oh god, no. Well, I know Gus and Jack like to hide things they found behind the stairs. Now there's going to be like a bunch of bogs and stuff. Yeah, okay, here's one. Yeah, exactly, here's one. I said it was one in the <laughs> manor, but I didn't know where. So, presumably they're all around here somewhere. Can I walk underneath? No, I cannot. Okay. The perspective here is really off. I hate the fixed perspective. <sighs> I wish it was like in Breath of the Wild where you can just like change it to your heart's content. I can't go there. Okay, that's an invisible wall. Now there's going to be a bunch of uh, bogs here. I feel it in my heart. Uh, and in my mind's eye and in my memory that there should be bogs at least walking down I do not know if it's walking up but there should be walking down uh, just like it was in the clock tower because I have a memory of these things apparently uh, I do want that but I will have to let go of that Don't forget to check Cinderella's Shut the fuck room up there might be a cog there. What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? I'm not crazy. There was definitely something there. Oh. It was just the chair. Okay. Never mind. I am easily scared. Now where is the last one? Because that's the second one. Now we just need to find the last one, which is where? Because this is the third one that I can ever find. Yeah, okay, it is the farm. I told you. See, I told you. I'm clever. I know where things are. Sometimes. Also, Cinderella's window. I really like Cinderella's room in the OG film. Not in the remake, but I really, really, truly love it. Okay, first of all, why am I walking around in circles? I could just do that. And it's like insta-kill. Walking down the stairs. We should go visit the farm. Shut the Okay. I will cut out my singing most likely because I can't sing. Good to know, right? Yeah, okay, so now I can't go back there. Shut up. Help! Somebody help me! Those creatures are back and they're stealing the pears from my pear trees! You have an obsession with the letter P, my dude. There's pumpkins and pear trees. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And please hurry. I gotta say, Cinderella's world is still my favourite, because uh, Snow White's world is boring as hell, Ariel's world is even more boring, somehow, Jasmine's world is like, fine, but it's not fun. So yeah, Cinderella's world is the only one I do thoroughly enjoy, and I don't even enjoy it. So I'm quite counter... not kind of productive, I'm quite a hypocrite. Uh, counterintuitive? 
Languages are difficult, my dude. Oh, my hand is going numb from having it on the keys. Oh, good you're here. If you hurry, you can save my pair. I love how he's talking without you talking. Use that basket to catch the pears. Oh, so yeah, like a shiny tree. It's the sort of game in basically okay. every. But how exactly do I do that? Here, I'll show. Materialized mice. Nice. Men are ready, send them mice, mice. Mice, mice, help. Dug, dug. So. Fun fact. Shut up. Move the basket left and right for you. Now, the trick to catching pears is to watch for falling leaves. That means a pear is just about to drop. Then, you quickly move the basket under the leaves, like so. There are lots of pears in this tree, so be sure to catch them all. It's not Pokemon, it's pears. Falling pears. Catch the pears for the farmer. <sighs> like, what's that, this game in... Jasmine's world? I don't think there was in Jasmine's world, but they had that like uh, press point and click like the like the octopus in uh, Ariel's world. But I f there, sh there must have been. I played it like 10 minutes ago and I don't remember. Uh, well it wasn't 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago I played this level. But I played it like an hour or so ago. And I have no recollection of what happened. Clearly, clearly, this game is very much ingrained in my mind. Now, that one should fall, but it won't, because this game is tricking me. This game is tricking me, I swear to god. So many pairs. What the hell? Screw these pets. I don't even remember this level. Was this in the Wii version? Because I swear to god I've never played this. I've never caught pears, of all things. I do not remember this. Oh, you saved the pears! Oh, I wish there was some way I could repay you. Say, do you want this cog? This cog <coughs> the bogs left behind would be of any use to Of course, you, of course. Of course. Actually, it would. Thank you. Now that I have three cogs, I need to get back to the clock tower. Good for you, little one. Okay, how do I get back? Pumpkins. Okay, now see, there's a meter there, right? That shows like, hey, this is how much, how do I get out of here? Is that how I go out of here? Okay, uh, hmm, okay. I suppose. No? But how do I... <laughs> this is the most complicated part of the game. How do I get out of the farmer's house? Wow, that is such a lame problem you're having there, darling. Can I miss a darling in the third person? Never do that again. I'm so used to call my friends that, that I suddenly start calling myself that. Okay. Okay. We found our way out. We have achieved freedom from the pumpkins. I am proud of me too. This will take so long to get to the castle. Are we going to the castle or the clock tower? We're going to the clock tower. Can you just give up already? I think you can realise why as a kid I constantly had this magic charge so I wouldn't have to charge it every time those stupid stupid grandpa clocks came over. Sort of. Like can you move any slower? You are annoying me, my dear. Why am I saying my dear so much? 
I'm so used to like texting pet names to my friends and suddenly I'm saying them out loud and I hate it just as much as you do. It's weird, I don't like it, I don't know how to stop either. It is a habit that I want to quit. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's go back to the clock tower and fix the clock. Oh my god, walk faster then! <laughs> like, it's not rocket science, just walk faster if you want to get there faster. Are you, like, daft? I genuinely do think this princess is daft. Oh, because yes, she is uh, the princess from the beginning, you know, who lives in the castle. Like, if you hadn't figured that out, that's her. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like a reveal or whatever, but anyone with brain cell could figure out that she was the princess. Uh, which means that, of course, I didn't figure it out when I was a kid. Until it came in the end that you were the princess, or like, related to the princess, or like, you know. Um, yeah. I did not realise when I was a kid. Loading, please wait. Okay, moving on. My family came home, but now I'm back. What the hell was that accent? I'm so sorry. Uh, we're moving on. I talked some drama with my friends. Now I'm back. And I'm ready to finish this game. Uh, just where is the clock tower? Okay, it's up there. So now, quick question. Uh, how can one clock tower control time? <laughs> like all the time in the world? I don't think that's how clocks work. Clocks are how we measure time, but that does not keep the concept of time from existing. That's not how it works. Now I believe time is a something we time is a something. Time is something we have made up. However, that does not mean that if we do not have a clock nearby, that the concept of time ceases to exist. That's not how time works. That's not how we made it. Time, the concept of time, the way we the way we view it, time still goes on even if we do not have a clock to see it. Someone else still has a clock. Like, me not knowing what the time is doesn't mean that there is no time. That's not how, that's not how time works. I'm thoroughly dis disappointed by this game for toddlers. Can't believe it. It has ruined my w view of reality and I'm thoroughly disappointed. And I am obviously not being sarcastic at all. Yeah, okay, so let's just, like, do this shit. <sighs> Come on, okay, let's go. Where is the third cog? Like, <laughs> okay. It's literally nowhere, but whatever. We had to find... Is it? No, it's not up there either. We had to find three of them, but we only needed two, whatever. It's not like I care. You've done so much for all of us. Well, I couldn't have done it without Jack and Gus. I could have. Oh my! Now that time is working again, I hope there's enough of it for me to get ready for the wedding. Oh, now don't worry, child. After all, with a little bit of magic, <laughs> anything is possible. I have to draw a wedding dress. I do love it. I need to draw it when I have time. We better go. There's still a lot of work to be done in other places. One place, specifically. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I hope I can come back and visit again. You're welcome back any time, dear. Oh, yes. Do come and visit us again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, so long! Yay, Cinderella, chapter end! 
Yay! It only took 25 minutes. <laughs> God, I'm a mess. And now, Snow White's will take even longer. I think. Or Snow... Mm, could go even faster. And now, it'll be filled in with blue, hopefully, or else I do it wrong. Yes, it will be blue! Wow! And now, that will be filled in with light blue too, which is honestly one of my favourite colours. So slow. Yay! Finally! Now. When we come back for the last story, it'll be. I actually want to see her gold dress first, that is the most important. <laughs> I have my priorities in check. I like shiny things and golden dresses. Now, that was odd. Let's see what she has to say to us. Oh, thank you very much for your help. And for showing Jack and Gus how brave they could be. Anyhow, she is gorgeous and I love her. Now, when we come back... Also, this is like, it's so freaking obvious that it's Belle. And I do not understand, because like, they're trying to keep it a secret. But they're shit at it. Like, it's so clearly Belle. Anyhow, when we come back, we will be going into the world of Snow White. And... Yeah, I hope you will join me for last story. Bye.